In my work, I mainly look at uh, maps of fuel condition. This is how dry the fuel is, how much fuel load is in a specific place. And all these variables are important because uh, they condition the flammability of the landscape and the potential of a fire to start. So we are at Namaji National Park. 80% of this park was burned a year ago. And the fire started in the Oral Valley, that is not far from where we are at the moment. So last year, towards October, um, I already saw that the landscape was extremely dry. Forests normally don't drop moisture content conditions much, but last year, because we were having a very extended drought, the forest got stressed and the most conditions uh, I was seeing in my maps uh, in October for forest areas were unprecedented. So they were a lot lower than the average of the last uh, 18 years. So if we combine dry fuels, high fuel loads with far weather, this is high temperatures, uh, low relative humidities and strong winds that uh, makes all the ingredients for a catastrophic fire season. When I started to see this evidence of the dryness of the landscape, I started to be very worried on what would come ahead. Seeing all these areas that I frequently uh, visit uh, with my family and friends and I enjoy, seeing these areas uh, burning was uh, quite sad and stressful, especially uh, when I knew there was little to do uh, to stop these fires, given the conditions at the time. So following the, the fires, I came with uh, my colleagues from ACT Parks and Conservation Service uh, to do evaluation of the fire severity. And we did that in an helicopter flying across the landscape. So what we show from the helicopter service uh, was that 45% of the inspected plots were affected by high fire severity. And that indicates that the fire burned quite hot. So that may explain the lack of uh, revegetation in some of the areas of Namaji highly affected. So what I learned from 2020 is that we can make a better use of the data we currently have. We know that uh, we will have more catastrophic fire seasons coming in the coming years. So what we want to make sure is that the data is fit for purpose and can be readily available for the fire managers to make the decisions 